আপনাদের সকলকে আবার আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি আমাদের ক্রিমিনাল জাস্টিস প্রোগ্রাম দেখবার জন্য আমি আজাম এন্ড কো সলিসিটারসের প্রিন্সিপাল সলিসিটার শাফিউল আজাম এবং আমার সাথে আছেন আমার কলিগ ক্রিমিনাল লয়ার স্পেশালিস্ট কিউসি কুইন্স কাউন্সিল দীর্ঘ চল্লিশ বছরের এক্সপেরিয়েন্সড ব্যারিস্টার এবং কিউসি জেরেমি ব্যানসন আমরা যে মিল্টন কিনসের যে ডাবল মার্ডারের উপরে আমরা কথা বলছি এখানে আপনার পাঁচজনকে লাইফ সেন্টেন্স দেওয়া হয়েছে পাঁচ জনকে আপনার জাজ এই কেসটাকে বলেছে এটা রিভেঞ্জ নেওয়ার জন্য দুইটা গ্রুপ দুইটা গ্যাং আপনার একটা একটা গ্যাং এর নাম হইল কি বি থ্রি আর একটা হইল এম ফোর তাহলে একটার সদস্য আর একটা সদস্যের সাথে যদিও একটা গ্রুপের এখানে একজন ইনভলভমেন্টটা ছিল জাস্ট অ্যাসোসিয়েশন করছে সে ওই দলের সাথে ওই গ্যাং এর সাথে পাঁচজনকেই তারা আপনার লাইফ সেন্টেন্স দেওয়া হয়েছিল এবং জাজ হ্যাড আপনার বলছে কি এটা সেন্সলেস অ্যান্ড ট্র্যাজিক জাজ বলছে যে এইটা সেন্সলেস এবং আপনার tragic jemi uh, would you say anything on this judges uh, comment senseless and tragic uh, well i i think that's pretty much obvious why why it was all necessary one really doesn't know um as far as the two young ones is concerned serious violence had been used against them but of course that is no reason to carry out these killings yeah doshok ekhane je prosecutor je chilo je police er je lawyer she bolche ki that the murders were part of a revenge attack after plotter was subjected to a humiliating ordeal je je murder korechilo তাকে হিউমিলেট করা হয়েছিল তাকে অপমান করা হয়েছিল তাকে খুব কঠোর অপমান করা হয়েছিল এবং যে একটা এম ফোর গ্যাং এর মেম্বার ছিল সেই দুই হাজার সতেরো সালে ইন দা উডল্যান্ড ইন উডল্যান্ড ইন দা ওয়েস্ট ক্রফট এরিয়া অফ মিল্টন কিংস ইন টু থাউজেন্ড যে যে ছিল এম ফোর আর একটা গ্যাং এর যে মেম্বার ছিল ওই গ্রুপের মেম্বার তাকে দুই হাজার সতেরো সালে তাকে ইনসাল্ট করা হয়েছিল অপমান করা হয়েছিল ওইটার জন্য দুই সালে অক্টোবর মাসে তারা ওই গ্রুপের সদস্যরা আর একটা বি থ্রি গ্রুপের মেম্বারদেরকে হত্যাযজ্ঞ করা হয়েছিল যদিও যাদেরকে হত্যা করা হয়েছে একজনের ইনভলভমেন্টটা ছিল জাস্ট ওই গ্রুপের মেম্বারদের সাথে অ্যাসোসিয়েশন ছিল ওইটা বলা হয়েছে না I would, Jeremy, ask you uh, some more things. These are teenage boys. Uh, now, in terms of the appeal, if the permission, which is very difficult uh, to achieve uh, from the court of appeal, if the permission is not granted, then what happens? Well, they can, they can apply to the full court for permission. Full court. Yes, but that's even more difficult because um, an experienced judge has already said that there's no merit in the appeal. Um, and so it's very rare. It's not um, impossible. And I, I've been involved in examples of it where you are refused to leave mm. or permission by the single judge and then eventually are successful. But you risk part of your sentence not counting. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that you have a lot of colleagues, Jeremy Benson, QC, experienced, all-round experience, and the police have given instruction, and the police have given instruction, যারা ডিফেন্ড করেছে যুগের পর যুগ ধরে সে চল্লিশ বছরেরও অধিক ওনার প্র্যাকটিস ক্রিমিনাল লয়ের উপরে উনি একটা চেম্বারের খুব লিডিং আপনার ডেপুটি হেড একটা খুব প্রমিনেন্ট আপনার 
ক্রিমিনাল ল চেম্বার খুবই নাম করা একটা ক্রিমিনাল ল চেম্বার এবং আপনি যদি এক্সপেরিয়েন্সড মানে দক্ষ অভিজ্ঞ কুইন্স কাউন্সিল যদি এনগেজ না করেন সেখানে আপনার পারমিশন পাওয়ার সম্ভাবনাটা খুব কম থাকবে কারণ খুব থারা প্রিপারেশন আপনাকে করতে হবে যদি পারমিশন পাইতে হয় কারণ পারমিশন যদি না পান তাহলে তো এটা ফুল ফুল কোর্টের মধ্যে যাবে না দের আর অলসো অপশন টু গো টু দ্য ক্রিমিনাল কেসেস রিভিউ কমিশন জয়মি হোয়েন ডাজ ইট গো টু দ্য in the criminal cases review okay, commission. Well, before we get to the criminal cases review commission there are circumstances where you can appeal outside the 28 days if you have a good reason why you hadn't appealed within the 28 days and it has to be a very good reason uh, it normally happens with what we call fresh evidence appeals in other words evidence comes to light after the case uh, which has substantial probative value in the case for example uh, supposing uh, after someone has been convicted uh, it is discovered that on a mobile phone there is very substantial material which could have shown that the defendant was not guilty that would be fresh evidence now before the criminal cases review commission can be involved you have to have exhausted or the appeal process so once you are convicted you don't go to the criminal cases review commission straight away you have to appeal and then when your appeal is unsuccessful that is when you can invite the criminal cases review commission to have a look into the case and what they do is they do they have a look into the case they uh, examine and consider the grounds they make inquiries if necessary and then if in the, their opinion uh, the appeal has merit they are allowed to refer it to the court of appeal and in those circumstances you don't need permission the criminal cases review commission refer the case then you don't need permission and there is just a hearing in front of um three judges in the court of appeal okay if the criminal cases review commission refuse to refer it although it is technically possible to appeal that decision technically um you are very unlikely to succeed because the court has to give the criminal cases review commission uh lots of latitude discretion as we would call it uh, and in order to show that they were wrong you would have to show that they were very unreasonable in not referring the case to the court of appeal and in my experience uh i don't know of an occasion when someone was successful trying to challenge the decision of the criminal cases review commission yeah dashak apnara sunchen shei wide experienced apnar vast experience আপনার সে জেরেমি বেনসন কিউসি আমি সে অনেক ব্যারিস্টার অনেক কিউসি অনেক মানে যারা জাজ হিসাবে বসেন বিভিন্ন ক্রাউন কোর্টের মধ্যে আমি আমার কেসের জন্য আমি এনগেজ করি আমার ক্লায়েন্টদেরকে আমি আজকে বিশ বছর পঁচিশ বছর ধরে আমরা আমি পঁচিশ বছর ধরে ক্রিমিনাল ল প্র্যাকটিস করে আসছি বিশ বছর ধরেই আমরা সিটির ভিতরে আমরা আজাম অ্যান্ড কৌশল স্টেস ফার্ম আমরা একই জায়গায় একই অফিসে বসে আমরা প্র্যাকটিস করে আসছি আমি প্রায় ব্যারিস্টার এবং কুইন্স কাউন্সেল কিউসি যাদের সাথে প্রায় মানে ম্যানি অফ দেম তারা সবাই জেরেমি বেনসন কিউসি কে চিনেন ওনার একটা সেই বিশাল পরিচিতি জেরেমি আই ইউ রাস্ক ইউ ওয়ান এ ভেরি ডিফারেন্ট কোয়েশ্চেন ইউ সি ইন মাই অ্যাবাউট টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ ইয়ার্স অফ প্র্যাকটিস আই হ্যাভ কাম অ্যাক্রস ইউ দ্য 
lots of barristers and including some QCs and many of them know you by name or knowing you personally. Now, my question is you, you are also tutor as you do the judges tutoring. That means the Doshok Jajera Okita training a Jaitahoi, the Judicial College of Training Jeta Sokana Jaya, judge their character training Nitahoi. Our Amar colleague Jeremy Benson QC Union and judges tutor Okankar Uni training Uni provide current judge their care. So is it one of the reasons that many of these barristers and recorders and QCs they know you? No. Uh, the reason the reason they they know me is I've been around a very long time. Yeah, you when you, I started yeah. when I when I first came. Ha, to what is that? What is the uh, magic behind anybody I, I I come across because you know I know you for 25 years now and I when I mention uh, about you and they also know you. You're making me go red, Shafi. Um, <laughs> Shafi. The reason the reason is that uh, I mean I know a very large number of barristers as well. The reason is that when I first started as a barrister, there were only three thousand five hundred in total. So over the whole country, there were only three and a half thousand, and of course a large proportion of them wouldn't do crime. Uh, now there are something like fourteen and a half to fifteen thousand barristers, but again, a large number do not do crime. So you just get to know people. You're in cases against them; uh, they appear in front of you. Uh, you're in chambers. Uh, we have in our chambers we have a hundred and five, a hundred and seven members of chambers. Um, so it's really just being around and practicing for a long period of time. Yeah. Yeah. And also, just, I know this is a very, very, you know, that complicated question, I think, maybe. But I just want to ask you if you can say anything, whatever you like. You know, that you, you go to the Judicial College of Training in the judges, uh, you know, the tutoring. Jehane Doshok Abna, the judge that get training, they were hoy, okay, only tutoring. Tell us just something, your experience about the judges' tutor. Well, it's, uh, it sounds a lot more grand um, than it is because occasionally I go as a tutor and sometimes I go as a student. But it's, it's not really uh, like being at school or university where you have a group of students and they are being taught. Uh, really, the tutors at the judicial college, you are just there to facilitate, really, discussion uh, between judges. Uh, a number of academics come along and give lectures on recent developments on the law, either substantive law or the law of evidence and practice. Um, but it is, in effect, a learning experience where everybody participates. So although there is technically a right answer to the various problems uh, that are set, the teaching comes from exchanging experiences because in so what you have is you have a number of small groups and within that group you will have full-time judges and you will have part-time judges as i am you will have judges from different areas of the country uh, where they do things in a different way and in effect, most of the learning is the sharing of those experiences and picking up, you know, good ways to do things, uh, picking up new ideas. So it's not like being at school, so to speak. Um, everybody is learning from everybody else. Yeah. The reason, actually, I asked you that question, you know, I did one of the very serious, indeed, a very serious rape case in this country, in the in England and Wales. It's one of the very, very high 
grave, grave offense. Yeah. Now the barrister that I instructed, he is also 40 plus experienced. And then I instructed him. And when we went to the higher court, court we've been thinking of appealing and I mentioned about you and he was so overwhelmed. He was so happy. He was telling me, Shafi, I would really, really love Jeremy Benson QC to take over this case now, please. He is the right person to do this appeal. So then I had to come to you. So th that's what I was telling you. He's also head of chambers because this is a very serious case. I instructed him. And then when I have told about that we need a Queen's Council, and then I just mentioned your name. He said he is the perfect one. He's the right person for this case. Go for him. <laughs> well, Shafi, you embarrass me. No, 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 no. That, that is, is the reason nice, I asked very you. Very nice of you to say so. No, that's the reason I asked you why everybody, how everybody knows you. Well, I, I should say this, that your reputation at the bar, because the bar is small, particularly if you practice at certain courts. So um, most people, their practice is geographicals. You know, you either practice all in London or all in the southeast of England or all in the northwest or the northeast. And so if you are practicing at the same courts in crime, you meet a large number of people uh, and you are in cases with a large number of people and your reputation is terribly important yes yes and yes. it takes many many years to build uh, that reputation build a good reputation yeah and it takes about five minutes to lose it yeah and so um you know people do lose reputations and it's very even if it's not their fault uh, the perception is that it is their fault yeah. and it takes a long time to get get a good reputation back and so i suppose i've been lucky that i haven't lost my good reputation you haven't and also you have to understand i respect you so much somehow i did not know that you are going to wear the red the tie and I have also had the red ties. It comes, it comes from the respect, you know. It's pure chance. <laughs> okay, I will come back to the this segment. We don't have much time. We will be. I will be coming in the next segment. One question: You have gone different countries in the world teaching the advocacy. Doshar, a Jeremy Benson QC, America, India, the Bibino Desher Buddhuni advocacy training the the Okaloti Zara Okaloti Kura Tadake Proshikon Dev. Mani Tadake training the Warjin Nuni Gas in America, the India, the Man Kibabe quoted with the case Upostapon Kotobe, Kibabe advocacy Kotobe, Kibabe judges and the Daraitobe unit a gulo question. Amra next segment to it but before that i would like to ask you about this uh, sentencing in the court of appeal uh, just tell some basic information uh, because uh, so many people coming to me to uh, appeal against because they are getting very long long sentences ap appeal against the sentence well um it's easier in a way now because we have the sentencing guidelines which are published and the sentencing guidelines, if you take a particular offence, divide that offence into categories of seriousness. So there are two elements. There's harm. That's the harm that someone causes as a result of the offence. Yeah. And there is culpability, which means uh, about the offender themselves. And whether it was, for example, pre-planned or whether it happened on the spur of the moment. So, in effect, culpability. So those are the two elements. And using the sentencing guidelines, and there are sentencing guidelines for most offences, a judge is able to identify a category of offence within that particular offense and within each category there is a range 
and uh, the judge takes a starting point and then the sentence moves up or down depending on the aggravating or the mitigating features. Aggravating features, features that make, make the offence worse. Mitigating features that make the offence not so serious. And so balancing all those factors, the judge then identifies uh, a sentence. And when you appeal sentence, you are either appealing that the judge got it wrong and put you in the wrong category, or that the judge has gone outside of the range. And the appeal is the sentence should have been within the range or the sentence should have been in a different category. But a sentence just being harsh or the fact that a defendant doesn't like it isn't enough. Is not enough, no. To be outside the range. The words are manifestly excessive. So not just excessive. Manifestly excessive. Manifestly excessive. Yeah. Darshak, Abnara Shunchen, Jeremy Benson, QC. We have one minute, half a minute. So the time limit for the magistrate's court is it 21 days? Yeah? 21 from days. The... That's from slightly the... different. Appeals from the magistrate's court are different because you can appeal as of right. Yeah. So you don't need permission. And from the magistrate's court, um, there are two ways to go, but the most common way is you appeal to the Crown Court, and at the Crown Court, it's just a rehearing, so the case yes. is heard yeah. again. Yeah, I think we have to go for a break now. You'll we'll yeah. come back to this point again. Doshak, I'm going to show you a break. Break it, pore, I'm Rabar Firashbo, I'm Azam and co-solicitors, the principal solicitor Shafiul Azam. এবং আমার সাথে আছেন আমার কলিগ জেরেমি বেনসন কিউসি সবাই আমাদের সাথেই থাকুন